Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our next example. Our next example, I know for sure it is an and answer because your inequality symbol is open towards the answer. So I'm not gonna have the word or in my sentence and I'm, or in my answer. I'm only gonna have one interval notation. So remember the first thing that we always do, of course, is to make sure the absolute value bars are isolated. They're already isolated here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my original just like I would if I was solving a regular equation. And then over here on the other side, we're going to set up the opposite. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the original. Remember what we need to do is we need to get rid of the fraction first. So we're gonna, or we're gonna multiply both sides by a two. Remember, we had single terms on both sides. So these twos are gonna cancel out and we're gonna get x minus five is gonna be less than or equal to a 16. Let's go ahead and add five to both sides. X is going to be less than or equal to a 21. And I'm just gonna put a cloud around that because that's not really my final answer, but it's important. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on with your opposite. So with your opposite, what I need to do first is I need to remember that I have to distribute the negative. Never, ever, ever distribute anything to a denominator. So we are going to distribute the negative to both pieces at the top, never in the denominator of any fraction. So once I distribute the negative, it's going to look like this. And then of course from there, um, I can't solve for x because that two is in the denominator. Now we're gonna get rid of the denominator. We're gonna multiply both sides by a two. So we're gonna end up with a negative x plus five and that's going to be less than or equal to a 16. We're going to subtract five from both sides on this. So we're gonna get negative x is less than or equal to an 11. And then remember, I do not solve negative variables with inequalities. So though that negative x and that 11, those are gonna switch sides. So my 11 is now negative over here, my x is now positive, and then I am done solving this inequality. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Over here on this side, x is going to be less than or equal to a 21. And then when we solve for the opposite, we needed our x values to be greater than or equal to a negative 11. So if I put this on a number line, and I will do this one more time here for us. If I put this on a number line, let me go ahead and change my pen. We would have zero here. Here's your negative 11 and here's your positive 21. So remember, we want our x values to be greater than a negative 11 or equal, so I shaded in that dot, which means we're going to have brackets. And on this side right here, we need it to be equal to 21 or less than. Notice how your arrows are pointing inside, which makes sense. We knew this was an and statement from the beginning because remember, the inequality was open towards the answer. So to put this in interval notation form, all we're going to do is we're gonna write negative 11 with our bracket. And remember it goes all the way to a 21 with a bracket. So this is going to be the answer that satisfies the inequality and makes them a true number sentence. 